Hello! In this video, I'd like to present to you the freestyle rigging tool. It is this tool that is usually grouped with Kineflex. If we click and hold on the Kineflex icon in the tools panel, we will see below Kineflex the freestyle rigging tool. There is also a command associated with the tool called Freestyle Rigging Tool SMR and the shortcut key is F4. The function of this command is to allow us to use a shortcut key to make the freestyle rigging tool the current tool. So if I press F4 on the keyboard, you can see the freestyle rigging tool became my currently selected tool and the cursor becomes crosshairs. Now I'll draw a bunch of rectangular primitives on the stage just rounded, cornered shapes. And we'll use these just to demonstrate how I can very quickly rig them into a character. I will convert these to symbols, graphic symbols without naming them. Registration will be in the center. I will then move the transformation points the way I would like them to be positioned for animation. And for this one, I will duplicate it and I will go in outline mode so that I can see better just to make a, a nice little circle of these overlapping parts and then I will put the transformation point in the center of this circle. Okay, so now I will assemble a little character out of these elements. Just like this and I'll duplicate these and duplicate again. I will grab a copy of this, the one with the proper transformation point, and put it just, just here. Okay, so now if I press the shortcut key, which is F4, you can assign your own if you dislike having F4 as the shortcut key for this and try to rig by clicking on an element and dragging toward another element, we'll get a message, a warning that tells us that there is a mismatch between registration points and transformation points. As most of you would be very well aware, smart magnet rigs require that registration and transformation points match. So we need to re-register these symbols and for that purpose, we will use Make Adaptable. I will select these elements because these are all the same as this one. We don't need to select them all. And I will click the button, choose or leave it with the default option selected and press OK. Now, all elements have been re-registered. You can see uh, reg points and transformation points match and we can start rigging. I'll choose the freestyle rigging tool and drag from the torso toward the neck. You can see that uh, an arrow is drawn outside. You can see that there is a gray bounding box surrounding the source element and a green bounding box surrounding our target element. Upon release, EDAPT objects were created here in the library. We got a history entry that tells us that two symbols have been rigged and I can just continue doing this same thing for all other elements. Now, 
because we have already rigged a bunch of elements. If I hold down, you can see gray boxes appearing around the, the elements that have already been rigged. And if I roll over the elements that have not been rigged, they highlight in green. Now I will press F12, which will call the quick settings for the command, just to show you that in animate, you can change the colors of these boxes. I'll just choose a, a pink color for the source so that we can see it better. Now you can see the sources highlight in pink and I will very quickly finish rigging. So I drag from the torso to the upper leg and then from the upper leg toward the lower leg. The logic is a tree-like structure, so branching out. With this, our smart magnet rig is done. I will choose the selection tool and double click to enter the torso so that we can see. Magnet targets have been placed inside the torso automatically to match all the elements that are connected to the torso. If we open one of the leg elements, you can see here there's a magnet target for the lower leg and a center marker indicating the registration point of the leg. And this same thing has happened here as well. So if I now move this torso, I can go for a smart transform and smart magnet joints to just test my rig. Obviously works fine. Now I can choose Kineflex and I can drag it back. I can try the neck works fine and I can choose these four and give them IK controllers. Now they all have IK controllers and if I choose the Kineflex tool, hold down shift and pull downwards, you can see what happens. Uh, the giraffe just squats. Here you go, some animation can be done very, very easily. And of course we can animate these as IK chains. If we like, forward kinematics is always available as well. So this is it. There is also an EDAPT control panel entry for the freestyle rigging tool, which is this one. And it's exactly the same as the quick settings that we already saw where we can choose the colors. I hope that this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.